All right, let's get into it. What is allyship? What does allyship look like? This is actually something that I talk about all the time because to me, this is one of the most important things that we can do as individuals, as companies, is to be great allies. And so specifically, gender diverse people. So gender diverse people are any one of what is a umbrella of now 26 plus different gender identities. So how can you actually be an ally to gender diverse people? First and foremost, ask, right? Uh, one of the things that I think is very interesting is that you know a lot of people might look at someone and go, oh, that person might be you know, gender diverse or trans simply because of what they look like. But the reality is that you can't really see gender. So first ask, figure out what community that person is a part of, and you might find out that they're actually agender or bigender. And so there's like a lot of different um, different classes of gender. So that's that's the first step. The second step is, once you figure out what they are based on what they've told you, is ask them how you can be supportive of them. So someone like me, my look, my act of support looks like every time you're in a separate, separate room and someone misgenders me, someone misgenders someone else, I want you to be that person who's loud and goes, hey, these pronouns are they, them, theirs, right? Or if you can't remember that, it's called BB. You know, for other people, it might look like something different. It might be something where they actually don't want you to correct it because maybe they don't feel like it's a great environment for a correction and they don't want to be called out to. So that's why you have to ask people exactly how, what, what the allyship looks looks like to them. The third thing is, in whatever spaces you're in, regardless of you know what things look like, talk to people about this, right? It's a really big deal. For a lot of people, I mean, if you think about transgender people, it's something like less than 1% of the world's population is supposed to be transgender. And less than you know 5% of the population identifies as these various other gender diverse categories. And so as a result, we're not in 99 or 95% of all the spaces in the world. For a lot of people, for instance, I'm their very first trans person that they met, right? And so it's a, it, it would be a lot for me to be able to find every one of the other eight now, eight billion people in the world. But every single time one of the people who are great allies to me goes into a space and goes, hey, my friend B is trans, their pronouns are they, them, theirs. And someone goes, oh, I've never actually experienced a trans person. Can you tell me more? And when you go out and advocate in that way, you're doing your due diligence to help spread on the message. I mean, it's not, not that dissimilar from what, you know, MLK or Malcolm X would say, right? They're like, just tell people who we are. And so people won't try to dictate who we are to us.